So someone seems to be losing faith within a situation. Someone feels like you won't be a part of their future or you don't want them a part of your future. Hmm. But something is definitely out of sync when it comes to someone who is slow to act when it comes to you. For many of you, this is someone who is playing dumb when it comes to a vicious cycle as this is someone who has a lack of will and putting on a front when it comes to something that is out of sync. Someone's lack of will is also stemming from the fact that they feel you won't forgive them for past actions. This is someone who is limiting themselves. Limiting self, pretending, pretending not to be out of sync. I also feel this is someone who's playing the blame game. Playing dumb, playing pretend, pretending that they were not manipulating a situation. In fact, I feel this energy was accusing you or even playing coy to the confusion they created. But I feel this is someone who could be creating dark moods as well. Pretending that they didn't create some type of cycle. Mm. I also feel this energy believes that you're being fragile. They believe that everything seems to be the last straw for you. But I feel it's the fact that they're pretending and not growing, which has caused something to be a thing of the past or even hard to deal with. I feel something is definitely intense when it comes to a situation. Something is definitely reaching a boiling point because there is no change. I feel someone wants you to be hypnotized by their energy. I feel they still have no bounds. Without bound, someone is bound to be paralyzed in their own mistakes, stuck. As long as someone is not growing, someone is just going to be where they are, wasting time. This is someone who likes to run, escaping, running away, blaming others for their downfall, leaving something in the air, pretending to be too busy to care. I feel this is someone who is no longer self-righteous now that they are in the dark. Someone is dealing with their darker side of self. They're also in a hurry or even impulsive. Please take it how it resonates. But someone is rushing, wanting to reach out or wanting you to reach out now that they are realizing you may be a hidden gift. But this energy is still playing dumb to some type of manipulation. They're still blaming fate or resenting something. But they're the ones with these snake-like behaviors. I feel this is someone who can give you what they think that you want, but behind the scenes this energy will switch up, hoping that you will still be blinded by something. Someone is wanting you to take a risk. Someone's wanting you to be addicted to the cycles, wanting you to be powerless to what they bring to a situation which I sense is only chaos, which in turn is only a trauma bond. Someone is wanting to bond with you out of trauma. This is instability of leaving something in the dark, which is why many of you have chosen to decline. Someone is still manipulating a situation, pretending that the confusion is somehow faded, has nothing to do with their manipulation or them being a false energy or just their lack of will, but I feel this is someone who has created a pattern or some type of vicious cycle because they're not ready to admit or acknowledge what they have taken you through. Let's get another deck out here. Holy Spirit. What are the messages here for the collective? We have a crisis at the bottom of the deck. Someone has created some type of crisis through confusion, pretending, and placing blame. I feel this is someone who is repeating things because of their lack of will or even understanding. Someone is having some type of mental issues, hmm. battling something within, going through their own personal crisis. It's because of what they chose to participate in or even the things they chose to say or do. For many of you, this is someone who tries to finesse a situation with no regrets. This is where the manipulation steps in and someone is playing dumb to the mistakes they caused. Hmm. For many of you, it's not what they did, it's how they chose to do it when they, they chose to do something through lack of will. Someone knows that they did some things that you couldn't understand or even respect at the end of the day. Someone knows they should have just talked to you. 
if this energy rejected or ignored a solid offer or a gesture from you because they were too reckless and weak to understand or see what was being offered to them. Now someone is in crisis for doing something with no regrets in which they're now starting to blame others because they now see there is no reward. Hmm. This is someone who is emotionally triggered, wanting to spin the block, but someone is still sitting in a space of confusion, still pretending, blaming, because they know you're not interested. In fact, this is someone who is paranoid, holding a grudge, because they feel you're holding a grudge. But I feel many of you have lost interest in their games or the games of sympathy as many of you are now seeing something needs to play its course. Something needs to be understood through action and sacrifice. Someone is definitely paranoid about what you can find out about how they swindled a situation. This is someone who is coming out as a professional ghost or someone who tried to assassinate your character. This is true betrayal. I feel someone is sitting in misery because of that. I feel someone is sitting in a space miserable wanting to spin the block because they're going through a crisis. In fact, I feel this is so much of a crisis that it's affecting their mental stability or how they're choosing to go about things. I feel like this is someone who is paranoid, stressed out upset because they feel you turned your back but I feel they have some very weird energy because they're stubborn about something someone also feels that you're being stubborn hmm. someone also feels you're coming from a space of tough love but the fact that something isn't temporary or they're starting to realize that something is not temporary they're starting to lose their mind that you're moving in silence or accepting the distance I feel this is someone who is very insecure, feeling like a loser, but I feel this is someone who became risky business, trying to demoralize you or this connection, becoming a false energy. Hmm. For many of you, this energy has become distorted in some type of way. There's envious energy here. I also feel they have followed the wrong crowd. This is where the misery is coming from, but someone is too stubborn to admit they went the wrong way. For some of you, you're about to approach a major glow up. There's love here, a new connection, but there's also a new energy of stability and freedom within self and in the home. Hmm. I also feel someone is feeling like they're losing their mind. Someone could also be bipolar. There's a lot of highs and lows with this energy. Someone sees that you're leveling up or moving forward, even despite what you're, you have been through or what you're going through. Many of you had to focus on self to get where you're going, as many of you may already be tired of where you've been. Someone's coming out as a karmic energy who is guilty, guilty of being a people pleaser. Hmm. A people pleaser wanting to be pleased. This energy is coming out as a swindler, someone who likes to play mind games, someone who is coming out as fake and gullible as well. Hmm. So this energy loves to play games, but I feel in this season, someone is also running games on them. Someone has lit a match and now they're upset because they got burned. I feel this is someone who is going through relationship issues, not just with you, but with other energies. Nothing is growing, nothing is leveling up. Someone is needing to realize their crisis comes from being fake. These demonic detachments, hmm. distorted energy, I feel Whatever energy that was sent your way is definitely being received. Someone is going through some bad karma. Someone is going through some bad karma because they didn't look closer within a situation before they broke free from you, pushed you away, because now they're being pushed to realize that they are more vulnerable without you. Vulnerable because of their lies. Someone is now realizing there's a thin line between Love and hate. Someone is definitely needing to curb their ego. This is someone who feels like no one cares, but I feel they're wallowing in self-pity because it's too hard to acknowledge what they did to create this scenario. For many of you, someone broke free, creating some type of resistance between the two of you, where 
the love somehow became hate. Many are wondering why this energy had the the type of energy or comprehension to even hurt you, but I feel hurt people always end up hurting others. I feel many of you are just tired of the hate because you always showed them love. However, I do feel something you did is definitely on target mm. because it's getting to them. They're starting to feel vulnerable that they didn't see that something was going to blow up in their face when it comes to these mind games because of the fact of how things always seem to turn out. But as I said before, something you did or said is definitely changing something. There's a plot twist because whatever hate they sent out is definitely come back around. For someone who didn't see something coming, they're seeing the, the fact that what they did or whatever they received in return for turning on you wasn't even worth it because now they're seeing you as the missing piece. They're in a scarce mindset now that they're dealing with a third party or a false environment that is causing them to feel out of pocket mentally. There's a lot of secrets and someone is needing to seek some type of professional help. This is third party energy or this could be the person who is missing you but too afraid to admit it. For many of you, someone broke free from this connection because whatever was going on between the two of you, they just wasn't ready for. Someone was not mature enough to face something on a level of authentic energy. Yet this person attached themselves to something or someone who won't even be around in the long run. Someone's stressed about how fake they were, but someone's too stubborn to admit it. This is what's causing all the stress, but someone also knows they betrayed your trust through lies and disrespect. There's also envious energy here. They should have looked closer. Someone should have looked closer, and this is why they're sitting in crisis and misery. Someone feels like they're losing their mind. They feel like someone's playing games with their mental state. There's a lot of regret now that they feel that you have turned your back. But I feel many of you are just tired of their weirdo energy and mind games. Someone's definitely sitting in some bipolar energy. This could be their energy or the energies around them because they're coming out as distorted many times. Someone is also envious. But this may be the very reason someone is needing to seek some professional help. For many of you, this was hard to get over or even understand. For many of you, you still don't understand from this day why this energy chose to do the things that they chose to do. But it's only because they felt they couldn't level up when it comes to you. So they mistreated you and even discarded you. Only because they knew they couldn't level up or give you what you needed. So this energy made you feel you were the problem. When really, you were the true solution. Let's get some energy here, Holy Spirit. Oh. So it definitely seems someone is in their feelings about a situation. Someone has no chill. Someone is overreacting, unable to be tamed. This is why their energy is coming out as distorted and needing to seek some type of help. Someone is around this energy is feeling like whatever they're going through is too much to handle. I feel there are a lot of people turning their back on this energy because something is just too intense. I feel many of you feel this energy was hmm, too much to handle. And wherever they have run to, they are getting that same energy. This is someone who could be in hermit mode because they are in their feelings, yearning for attention. And I feel there's caution tape all over this. Because this energy still doesn't see the signs. They don't see the red flags when it comes to squads or fake friends, close friends. Energies that are coming out as frenemies. Oh, birds of the feather flock together. So I definitely feel in this case, someone is in their feelings because they are realizing the energies around them are just like they are unreliable and nothing about these third party energies nothing about it is what it seems I feel there's carefree energy sneaky link energy someone is going to spill the tea 
there's a lot of arguments and conflict between the third party and someone is wanting to butter someone else up someone should have leveled up and kept something in a friend zone but someone is definitely keeping tabs on you wanting to slide through send some type of love or text you but i feel this energy is still sitting in a space where they're faking it there's deception dishonesty someone is still bullshitting you and still wearing a mask I feel this is someone who's going through a lot of setbacks, all noise, all talk, no walk. This is someone who's saying meaningless words. They're a brick wall. This energy is guarded, hard to reach, and this is what's making them suspect or causing you to feel they have sketchy behaviors. This is someone who has questionable motives, and this is why many of you are simply fed up, not having it. Someone knows that you are frustrated at the fact that they are guarded, but many of you have already moved on and they just don't know it. Many of you have moved on from the empty promises and they don't know it. Sudden realization, someone still doesn't see it. Someone still hasn't received that light bulb moment that they are let down. For many of you, this is someone who left you feeling disappointed, but now they're sit facing setbacks and they're off track. And this is why they're hiding behind the mask, feeling like you don't care or you have friends on them or they no longer have a position. But this is someone who doesn't really understand how they truly let you down. But they also know that they're guilty, guilty as charged. Someone is being exposed for being dismissive, facing losses. Someone is definitely going through set, setbacks that will be true sacrifices. There's dirty money. Someone is taking from them and they don't know it. Someone is taking from them mentally, spiritually, financially, emotionally. Someone is definitely validating them, but also pushing them to a state of desperation. This energy is thirsty, but also knowing that they pushed you to your breaking point. Someone knows that you are overwhelmed when it comes to thinking of the situation or thinking about them. And this is why many of you had to take the high road because you're not dealing with it, not today. Someone knows that you're no longer dealing with how they choose to treat you. You're unbothered, but hmm, brushing it off isn't easy because someone, it seems like you really don't know who they are. And for some of you, it almost seems like you never knew them at all. Hmm. High vibes. Many of you are definitely trying to do things better you're trying to do things and the effect where you're living to your fullness. High vibes only. Hmm. But someone could be in savage mode. So for many of you, as I said before, something is triggering when it comes to this energy. They're very emotional, but I feel they are trying to project their energy because they're not wanting to tr fully deal with something. So they are avoidant causing something to be a long road. In fact, I feel someone is wanting to send some type of distress call. This is why someone is holding back something has become a brick wall. They don't want you to know how much they're really truly going through. This is why someone is always talking, yet never walking. There's delays, someone is hesitant because something is losing momentum. They feel changed to something. They feel changed to something that is weighing them down financially. I feel someone is taking from them to keep them stuck, to keep them sitting in this space of feeling like they can't have or they can't move on, they can't be better, they can't do better. There, there's a situation where there's a lot of high, highs and lows, a long road for someone who is still sitting in a fantasy of make-believe. I feel like this is someone who is still feeding into a false narrative that someone else has created, someone is needing to boss up, be an adult about a situation, mature energy here. Someone is needing to make a mature effort. Hmm. Be reasonable, but someone is still playing the field. Seeking options and being a bullheaded energy. Narrow-minded. Difficult to sway. Someone is still trauma bonding. Not just with you, but with everyone else. But I feel someone is showing them love in a different way. They're laid up with something or someone that has become a key player. So in this narrative that they're in, someone is definitely a doormat. Someone is following the other 
sheep energy someone that's also numbing of pain when it comes to a people pleaser who is wanting to be pleased someone that's wanting to do anything and everything but I feel there's mixed emotions some is still unclear when it comes to who they're wanting to disrespect and criticize but I feel them losing something with you hmm. something flatlining something drifting apart is something that they didn't expect Someone thought that they would always have a chance to have this heart to heart or deep conversation, but someone took something too far and now they're stuck trolling. Because they were swept up in a booty call or something that was senseless. Someone got a new boo or someone got a new situation trying to put you in your place or make you feel some type of way, hoping that you react. I feel this energy just should have just opened up and gave you your flowers. This energy should have just given you their heart. If this energy was in savage mode, acting ruthless, giving no fucks about anyone else but themselves, and in so many cases, not even themselves, because this energy has no filter. This energy has no filter, and this is why they cannot be authentic. Yet let them tell it. They are someone you can trust, when in fact they have become someone you have to watch. For many of you, this is someone who is all in their feelings about a situation, so they feel they need to come up with accusations or point things out to deflect. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who is always deflecting what they think is wrong with everyone else, especially when it comes to your reaction. Wow. This is someone who would rather point out what is wrong with you and how you react to them rather than fix what they know is wrong with them. So they resent you for your boundaries and even you standing up for self. As I sense this energy has made the mistake of seeing your silence as your ignorance or even a weakness when really they're not ready to hear what they know is true. I feel this is someone who is stuck in their head when it comes to the gossip or even the fact that they were influenced by something or even the fact that you're over it, not having it. Someone knows without a shadow of a doubt that you are no one's fool. So it seems like someone has put themselves in a situation where they know the vibes definitely change when it comes to a separation. They feel like you just left them behind. So as I said before, this is someone who feels like it's so easy to push your buttons, but I feel this is someone who has a history of the disrespect, and this is why many of you are just not willing to compromise when it comes to the mistakes that they are constantly making. For many of you, they know that they have pushed you to a point where you can't look past the evidence, the betrayal, or the fact that they are always trying to put you on blast. I feel this is someone who tried to publicly humiliate you by showing off, flexing, or being prideful, or even try to make something go viral. But I feel you were dealing with a spiritual narcissist. Wow. Someone who was all in their ego. But I feel the fact that you have evidence of them being disrespectful, they know that when it comes to you, it just might be hands off. Someone is tiptoeing around a situation, someone is sneaking around evidence or something that they know is true. Someone knows that they should have never let something go viral. They should have never spoke on something. They should have left something where it was. They should have tried to speak to you. But something is shattered when it comes to the love that was once there. Something is broken or beyond repair. And this is what's keeping them in their feelings, emotions. Hmm mentally distressed. There's low vibrations when it comes to someone who wants to bounce back, but this is someone who is not really putting forth the proper evidence or effort. <laughs> but I feel this is someone who is still not detoxing or cleansing their energy. Someone is needing to rid the negativity, but they're tiptoeing around what's needing to be done. Someone is tiptoeing around something because they know they screwed something up and they also know that you're not going to look past something. You're going to call something out. Someone knows they screwed something up, but they're in hermit mode trying to deal with the fact that they failed. Wow. I feel someone put you on the back burner believing that they could always come back. Now they're wishing and hoping for a lucky break when it comes to you, as it seems 
For many of you, there has been years of them playing games or being this spiritual narcissist or just trying to save you for later. This is why someone has yet to level up or graduate because they're too fixated on disagreements, conflicts, fighting with you, trying to hmm, have some type of power struggle. But for many of you, the vibes have changed because they just can't keep it real. They just can't be honest and transparent. But I feel them showing you their true colors on how they act when they feel they're on top or this energy feels when they feel they have options. They, they breadcrumbed you. They gave you little effort. They were easily led. And also I feel this energy was taking low key digs at you all because you called them out. And I feel this is something that they are fixated on because they know that you have the evidence. Someone knows that you, you know more than enough or you know enough to be distant or not want to be tied to whatever they have going on because whatever it is is starting to get messy. Someone avoided something by not being the adult. I feel this is someone who gave you no closure. There is a disappearing act when it comes to someone who is salty. Even though they know they wronged you, this energy is bitter, dramatic, and even jealous. This is someone who gave no mature effort. They're not responsible. They couldn't keep something in check and now something is spilling over. Something is being exposed when it comes to something that they would rather hide. Someone doesn't like the fact that they feel rejected. They feel like you're refusing them, but I feel this is someone who is going through some type of a rough patch and they're blaming any and everyone that isn't giving in to them. This is a frustrating situation that's causing them to be salty, extra, and even petty. I feel this is someone who is immature and small-minded. Wow. And this is why they are weighed down because they have become their own unhealthy attachment. Someone has become their own problem by sitting in this fantasy, this illusion that they continue to feed into. This is why they're going through a power struggle or a frustrating situation that they're finding it hard to get out of. I feel this is what stems from someone who cares nothing about others. Because from their actions and also their struggles, many of you are no longer in the mood to deal with someone who is thirsty and will give their attention to anyone. Now someone is in deep regret for what they chose over you because now they understand the old you that was once offered to them won't be offered twice. I feel this is someone who played a dirty game but didn't expect to lose. Mm. Wow. Someone so once despises you for your effort or your resilience as this energy is definitely taking a trip down memory lane, not realizing or even expecting that something would crash and burn. Someone never expected you to win. Someone is thinking about how everything played out. They think about it all the time. I feel like this is someone who thinks about you more than you would even expect. For many of you, you feel like this energy doesn't care at all when in fact they truly do. I feel this energy just has a problem with caring for anyone, even themselves. For many of you, you're wondering why this energy had the audacity to do the things that they did. But I feel this energy is also learning that karma is real and karma's also a bitch someone is realizing that whatever they gave is also being received they wasted their time stabbing you in the back someone is realizing that they never should have played the game the way they did especially not with you someone is realizing that you didn't deserve it the games they played but I also feel someone did it with no regrets because they didn't think that they were going to end up in this way. Someone didn't see something was going to crash and burn. Someone never thought you would ever have the heart to walk away. Someone thought that you would always be attached or even want or need them. This is why they had the courage or the confidence to be bold and stab you in the back, lie to you, overshare when it comes to you or about you. I feel this energy was sidetracked. 
um, sidetrack when it comes to love, emotions, or even on some petty get back energy. This is someone who was sidetracked by karmic energies, but I feel this is someone who is truly learning some lessons. Learning lessons when it comes to changing. Someone definitely completely changed on you as is someone who is sugarcoating how they were easily bothered or distracted. This energy is being cryptic about their unwillingness to share. Someone is being cryptic about how they were an imposter. How they were pretending to be the nice guy. So for many of you, this is someone who felt like you were going to go easy on them. And this is why they were trying to play nice. But I feel this is someone who is truly unwilling to share. But they're being cryptic about what they're saying or even what they have done. But I feel this is someone who has definitely made some moves against you that has caused many of you to use your intuition because this is someone who is truly caught out there this is why they're laying something on thick using their words against you but i feel this energy is skating on thin ice someone has definitely done the things they have done to you because they're wearing their heart on the sleeve thinking this is the way love goes but i feel this is the very reason many of you are cautious because you know they will never give you the gratitude you deserve. As I said before, something you have done or said was definitely needing an encore because how you handled this was definitely hard, but I also feel it was necessary for someone who needed to understand that love shouldn't hurt. And I feel you have definitely taught them a strong lesson when it comes to love. I feel that this energy has become belligerent at the fact that you don't need them or they feel you no longer love them. But I feel this is someone who never showed you the gratitude and this is why they had to settle. Now they're dealing with the junk drawer of things that they don't want. Someone is regretting the fact that they were low key about a situation, a side piece. And they never hit the brakes when it comes to something that should have never become one of their resources. Someone is definitely in their emotions, already knowing that they should just tell the truth, but they're in a hostile situation. Wow. <laughs> this is someone who is definitely in regret. Someone is raging, upset behind the scenes, and is starting to kind of melt out into their regular day or regular life. They're obsessed with new opportunities, but something has caused them to be still, humbled, deep-seated discrimination. So I feel that someone is definitely baiting them in, aiding and abetting, whatever it is. Someone is feeling like someone is holding them down, or keeping them from speaking. Someone feels they can't be themselves. They feel like they're attached to someone who's on a witch hunt trying to take them down by all means or keep them there by all means they feel they're stuck in the middle of some type of fight a war a war i feel they help create i feel something with this situation is definitely intense and for some of you this energy needs to do some intense shadow work but as I said before, someone is skating on thin ice when it comes to sugarcoating things, sugarcoating the fact that they just turned on you abruptly. Someone did a 180, and now they're starving for your attention, but stringing something along when it comes to a third party, something that they just settled for because they didn't give you the gratitude that you deserve. I feel someone made some promises to you that they didn't have to make. They shouldn't even open their mouth, but this energy went off on some type of people-pleasing situation where they felt like they needed to make some type of statement or say some type of, say some things to get you to fall for something or let your guard down or do some things. But I feel that many of the things that they play games with, you would have done anyways. But the fact that this energy played with you is the real insult. I feel you dealt with someone who was very childish. This is someone who has some very childish behaviors, which has caused them to claim you push them to be the way that they are, or even to mistreat you. But I feel the true reason this energy is acting this way is because they don't like the fact that you pointed out that they hurt you. And I feel what makes it more offensive is the fact that you won't allow them to do it again. I feel this is someone who doesn't want to admit the fact that 
a lot of the things they did to you haunts them but I feel someone is not wanting to admit some things because of their insecurities this is why they are not being honest not being truthful about many of the things that they know that they were involved in as it almost seems they are committed to misunderstanding you or even pretending there is a misunderstanding only so they don't have to acknowledge that they have hurt you multiple times as this energy has hurt you more than they have contributed to loving and healing with you i feel this is someone who has had a mouth full of lies yet they are wasting time pretending to be a nice person i feel this is someone who is caught out there and they're dealing with a junk drawer of problems mistakes bad habits and even their mouth full of lies because it's definitely become a web of lies that they are now caught in. I feel there is a bait and switch scenario here where someone is dealing with a mob-like mentality or a mob-like situation where they set you up to fail, but they are the ones failing. I feel someone tried to hurt you, tried to make you feel some type of way, but in some strange way they still have love for you i feel there was a bait and switch situation i feel something you did or said hurt this energy but instead of talking to you or talking something out with you this energy got petty with you minimizing dismissing or not acknowledging you at all but i feel this energy is running and avoiding you because they know there's a lot of things about them that they're not ready or willing to fix because I feel to begin this process of forgiveness or even healing, someone is going to need to put their pride aside and someone is just not ready and willing to do that. Which is why avoiding you or, and even being dismissive with you is only setting themselves up to fail. I feel this is someone who is being dismissive, holding things back or letting others talk in an effort to embarrass you. Hoping that others will also blame you for this downfall or their downfall. Someone is hoping that others lash out at you or even hold a grudge. But I feel this is someone who is putting you in this sp space or wanting things to be reckless for you because they can't control, alter you, or delete you. Someone thinks about you all the time, even if they don't want to. All because they are wearing their heart on their sleeve when it comes to you. Someone is definitely dealing with a situation that's causing them to start from the ground up. But the fact that they are easily distracted is the reason they're not going anywhere. Someone is needing to show you some real gratitude. This is why they have to settle for less. Because they are still stringing some things along. Because they're starving for attention. But I feel this is someone who is looking for attention in the wrong places. This is why someone just switched up on you. And sugarcoating the fact that they changed. Not you. I feel this is someone who is skating on thin ice. And they know it. And this is why they always seem to fail every time. Because instead of changing their habits or having more love and affection or even value or depth within the situation, they're occupying their time and even their energy with things and people that mean nothing at the end of the day. Because in so many ways, the one they miss the most, they have already pushed away. Whereas since many of you are maybe thinking this energy never even carried at all, but I feel this energy has so many problems and issues when it comes to giving and receiving when it comes to love. It's almost made you feel they don't even care or understand at all, when in fact they do. They just refuse to feel what they're going through.